The Face and Home has many stories to tell, but none more tragic than the story of Maria Faison. Born in 1862 in Tennessee to Peter and Susan Faison, she moved with her parents to LaGrange in 1872 after her uncle Nathaniel Faison's death. Her happiest moments were the four years she attended school in Staunton, Virginia, where she enjoyed herself with dances, picnics, and riding. Soon, however, her father ordered her home and Maria reluctantly complied. Sinking into despair, she penned a letter to her mother from nearby Flatonia. Dated August 6, 1884, the handwriting is wild and unstable. She vows to find a teaching position in either Schulenburg or Flatonia. She said, I am determined never to live in LaGrange again. I had rather by far been dead long ago than to have suffered what I have in LaGrange. I have had troubles in that town that you know nothing about and maybe never will because I cannot tell them. Poor India. I sometimes envy her. She is better off dead and out of the troubles and trials of this wicked world. I sometimes wish I were dead though I know it is not right. Try to forgive me for all my past faults, which I know too well are many. Her independence was not to be. She spent the years preceding her death immersed in church work, teaching Sunday school, and singing in the choir at St. James Episcopal Church. Her last days were just as depressing. Ill for four months, she was confined to bed, only occasionally well enough to sit up in her room or take a carriage ride. On Sunday evening, March 4, 1888, she slipped away at the age of 26. The family, no doubt, took the death of their only daughter hard. Let's listen as Maria's Auntie Annie and family friend Julia Sinks plan Maria's funeral. How's Susan doing? Oh, as well as can be expected. Dr. Sutherland has given her some laudanum and she's uh, sleeping. Um, Peter's already set the clock in the parlor to the time of Maria's death and stopped it. And um, he's, uh, he's also put crate over the mirrors in the house. Oh, good, good. Have we heard anything from uh, Carter's funeral? Oh, yes. Uh, they've hung the badge on the door. Um, yeah, the undertaker was here, the badges on the door, and they put a uh, white, uh, a rosette and white ribbons um, on, the, on the door. So oh, good, that's good. all taken care of. We just have so much to do with the funeral tomorrow at 3 o'clock at St. James. Just so much to do. Will you sit with Maria tonight? I just, I just don't think I can do it. I will, but I need to go home and change into my black morning dress. Okay. First. I have to write to St. Louis to get some more funeral dresses for for Susan. I just, I doubt that she'll ever come out of mourning. Mm -hmm. um, will you let the ladies at the church know that um, neither she or I'll be there for the next six months or so? Yes, I will. We need to order some black crepe bands for the for the pallbearers. Um, do we know yet who the, how many pallbearers or who the pallbearers are? Uh, no, not yet. That's Peter's making that decision right now. But uh, before I forget, uh, as Susan said that she wanted a death portrait done of Maria and she also wants you to uh, get some of her hair so that she ha can have a brooch made. Oh, okay. That's so hard, but all right, I'll get it, it done. I've been working on the words for the, for the uh, tombstone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just tell me what you think is best. A precious one from us has gone, a voice we love distilled, a place is vacant from our home, which none can ever fill. Or, God in his wisdom has recalled the boon his love has given, and though the body molders here, the soul is safe in heaven. I think they're both beautiful. Um, why don't you use them both? Well, uh, well after we decide, I'll, I'll write the memorial to go to the newspaper and the funeral card. Annie, you look so tired. Why don't you stop for the night? I guess we've done enough. I think I can do that. 
Thank you so much for being here. A large audience attended Maria's service at St. James the following day. The LaGrange Journal remarked that the funeral procession was one of the largest ever witnessed in the city. Maria is buried in the LaGrange City Cemetery. Her tombstone contains the verses Annie picked, plus a Bible verse from Mark chapter 5, verse 8. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Her memoriam was published in the March 15, 1888 newspaper, detailing the last days of her life. The funeral card for Maria contains the following verse by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. There is no death. What seems so is transition. This life of mortal breath is but a suburb of the life Elysian, whose portal we call death. Her death portrait hangs above the fireplace in the master bedroom of the face and home. Woof, <laughs> woof, 